Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video will demonstrate how to wire photoelectric sensors to a LiftMaster gate operator. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. The 2016 UL325 standard requires that two monitored safety entrapment protection devices be installed for each entrapment point. The inherent reversing system built into each LiftMaster gate operator counts as one. A LiftMaster monitored photoelectric sensor or monitored edge sensor counts as the second. At least one LiftMaster monitored photoelectric or edge sensor must be connected for the operator to function, or the unit will only function in constant pressure mode. The main control board has three input terminals for wiring external entrapment protection devices. For models that come with the expansion board, there are three additional inputs. UL has several designations for external entrapment protection devices. They include Type B1, a non-contact sensor such as a photoelectric sensor. Type B2, a contact sensor such as an edge sensor. This video will demonstrate how to wire photoelectric sensors to a LiftMaster gate operator. Let's look at both the main control board and expansion board for the gate operator. There are three inputs on the main control board that can be used for either vehicle detection devices or entrapment protection devices. The close eyes interrupt input is for wiring photoelectric sensors for the closed direction only. When the gate is closing, if an obstruction interrupts the beam of the photoelectric sensors, the gate will reverse to the full open position. Timer to close will be reset. The close edge input is for wiring an edge sensor for the closed direction only. If an obstruction comes into contact with an edge sensor installed in the closing entrapment zone, the gate will reverse to the full open position. Timer to close will be disabled. A new free exit loop command or hard input will restart the canceled timer. The open eyes edge input is for a photoelectric sensor or an edge sensor for the open direction only. If an obstruction is detected while the gate is opening, the gate will reverse for four seconds, then stop. Some models come standard with an expansion board already installed. There are connections for three additional entrapment protection devices on the expansion board. One eye-only input and two eye-edge inputs. These are configurable and you must choose whether you want to protect the open or closed position. On the expansion board, all sensors share a single common terminal. Be sure to observe the correct polarity when wiring sensors to the operator. Now that you understand where the devices are wired, let's talk about the types of devices you'll need to install. In order for the gate operator to move the gate, at least one LiftMaster external monitored entrapment device must be installed at each entrapment point. Monitored devices send a pulsed signal to the operator, so the operator is aware of the device. If the operator does not receive this signal from at least one safety device, it will not run. LiftMaster offers several UL-approved photoelectric sensors that are listed with all our UL-approved gate operators. LMTBU through-beam photoelectric sensors consist of a sending and receiving sensor. Both must be wired to the gate operator. LMRRU reflector photoelectric sensors consist of a sensor that is wired to the gate operator and a reflector. This unit comes standard with all new gate operators. After installing entrapment protection devices, it is necessary to perform the safety test. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Be sure to check out our other products and accessories when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.